In this demo, we're going to go ahead and go through the debugger that comes with BlueJ. It's part of the Chapter 3 lecture, so we'll go ahead and touch on that briefly. The debugger, um, slide 31. Useful for gaining insights into program behavior, whether or not the program is an error, uh, set breakpoints, examine variables, step through code, etc. So I'll try to go through all of those. Here's an example of what it looks like, but we're going to actually get to it in real life. Uh, they're actually doing a demo on print mail item, and we can go ahead and go with that or something different. I'm going to go slightly differently just because. All right, so I've already opened up uh, the project mail, which is in this week's assignment. I've created instances, as you can see, mail serve one and mail client one. And then I'm going ahead and I went and created a mail item as well, just with some junk data in there just to get over it. And one of the things that you want to think about when you do a new mail client See how this is a string? It expects you to put a quote, whatever, close quote. This is a mail server, so it expects you to put in the name of an existing object or instance of mail server. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at our source code. Just for hypotheticals, let's pretend that we have no idea why a value is getting messed up here, and I want to look at it. So the first thing I want to do is come up and set <coughs> a breakpoint. So notice this little thing right here shows stop. It's a stop sign. So what it's going to do is, as I run through the code, it's going to stop here for me automatically. I can leave this open or I can leave it closed. Let's just leave it open. Now I want to run that particular method. Um, come down here, right mouse click on the instance that's in memory, and uh, choose what we're going to run. So for example, just come back here, we're on get from. So we're going to right mouse click here. And just as an example, well, we'll go ahead and run get one from. Now notice right here, see the little black arrow? It shows you where you are in the code. You have options to step, step into, continue, or terminate. Terminate means to end the program. It's also showing you right now all the instance variables that were created for this particular object, okay, which is the mail item. And so I just did test, 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 just to be generic for me. But it can be helpful to you. You can double click on it, you can do what's called inspect, you can get some more information on it if you want to. Local variables, remember what these are, and static variables. Um, you can see where we are in terms of call sequence right now. I immediately came into here. Had I gone through multiple other things, I could have seen that. And it shows right now we're at the breakpoint in the method that we're running. Okay? Step into, had this been uh, a method to something else, or even begin end braces, step into would have gone into the code that this is running. Continue means just go with it, don't stop. And step means go to the next line of code. In this case, there's only one line of code, but still it's going to show you what the results are. This is from the normal run, by the way, of what the get from method does. Okay? So if I had something a little more complicated, I could have done more. So like here, uh, this is doing a print. So let's go ahead and toggle, put a breakpoint here by control B or going up to tools. Um, and then we'll go ahead and move the code over. And this is the print next mail item. I'm totally winging it, so it'll be interesting to see what we do. Print next mail item. So now it's asking you for some information or it's showing you some information. You'll see the breakpoint right here of where we're at. So I'll move this over. Uh, here's the breakpoint. Here are the instance variables in here. I can step into, I can step, or I can continue. So step into goes to the next line. Because I didn't pass in an item, it's null. It doesn't know what to do with it. And it's going to say that there's no new item, no new mail. Okay? I can continue to step into or step. There's nothing really to step into here, so these two roughly equate to the same thing. All right? Step shows you made it all the way through. Step and it continues to go, hold on, and it shows you where you are in the code. Oh, we're already out of the code, so there's nothing else to see. Okay? So a step would have gone from here to here and then out. All right? And again, if I want to kill the program, terminate, kills everything. Notice everything here is gone um, because I killed everything in memory. And that's really the debugger. Very straightforward. Use it to look at your values. Use it to make sure that you're doing right. This week with the assignment, because it's a little more complicated than last week, you might want to use it. Best wishes. Hopefully you got something from this lecture.